Hello guys and gor uh, girls, this is uh, Gordon, and uh, I guess this is the first of many videos You're using the natural resources, so what we've done here is uh, we got a Christmas tree out of the back lot, and this was just some of the leftover um, branches, and I've been using these pair of players to cut them. And I'm just collecting the scion wood. I have uh, wax inside ready to boil. And I'll dip them in. And then they'll be ready to go. Um, I'll just set them off the side. Um, so this all came off the... Uh, you know, it's... Uh, you're asking, well, what do you mean by Christmas tree? It's... Uh, last night we had a big snowstorm in a... Uh, forgot what type of tree it was. It was this type of tree. Um, hemlock fell. Uh, the hemlock fell. And uh, we're taking it. And uh, sorry that, for that interruption. Um, so a hemlock fell in the woods. And we took the top six feet. Which was two crowns. And we decided, hey, let's have our own Christmas tree. So, you know, natural resource was the tree on our land. It fell, so we're going to use it for a Christmas tree and all the excess, which the tree is very healthy. And it, it, we're in December 12th right now. So all of this stuff should be vital. I just have to get it good now. We've had a very light winter. It was a huge windstorm we had last night. If you look, that pine branch right there, it just, it fell. So again, I'm taking all this little stuff and I'll break it up later. Stuff like this that's too thin, I don't think I'll use. So I'm just gonna throw it off to the side. I'm only trying to get central leaders and stuff. Again, if I don't think I can get central leaders, then I'm throwing it off. And then this came off the blue spruce. The big guy right there. It just happened to come off. So I have another pair of shears because it's a different variety of tree that have been cleaned. So we're gonna base these all in uh, beeswax toilet bowl wax solution. And then we're gonna probably actually just keep them outside here in the ground with sawdust, moist sawdust, because I'm trying to use more natural resources. So, I mean, just off this one branch, as you can tell, I'm going to get a bunch. So, the little scraggly ones, I could graft it, but again, I may keep it. But normally, for what size I'm looking for, I'm looking for something pencil size like that, just to let you know. So, again, I'm just using the natural resources. Just going through, clipping them. Probably clip it right there for the crown. Yeah, yeah, just clip it at the crown right there if I can. Sorry about that. A lot of interruptions. We we're trying to decorate for the holidays. You know how that can go. That little piece I could keep, but I'm going to throw it out. The crown I'm definitely going to keep again. I'll divide it into smaller pieces later. Probably keep this guy. Ah, uh, he's small, but I think I'll keep him. Yeah, sure, I'll keep him. He's less than a pencil's width. He's scraggly, but I'll keep him. Because each one of these can be trees. And by the way, I did the research. Blue spruces, when grafted, take longer to uh, not only heal up, but to actually grow. So that's, and this is a uh, Colorado blue spruce here. It's, but it's more of a native variety. And we're in Northern New York, so. That one, yeah, I'll keep. I mean, you know, it, this is a prime example. This is something that you would definitely want to keep. Put into wax, dip it into wax. Um, again, this little guy, I could keep him, but no, we're going to get rid of him. We may end up getting rid of some of that sack. And now, we'll take the other shears. And again, we're just going to go through it. And, oh, wait until I show you the whole tree. Again. Clip it where we can. 
I may be able to graph that. Very thin, very small, but graftable. So we're going to keep that. And the rest can go. And then this right here. We'll cut right there. And then we'll cut this guy right here because again this is all natural resources of the area so we want to cap that and keep that throw that guy away again there's not much here that we could really work with is there but we'll take it and we'll cap it right about there if i can get in there yeah right there we'll keep this piece throw the rest of this away uh same uh, trying to get it undone here okay same thing here we're gonna keep that we're gonna clip it right about there get rid of the rest of this okay now we're just trying to section it off that no it's too thin i'll show you a prime example of what you want to graft this is rather small but, you know, we're, again, when you're using natural resources in the area, you use what you can use. It's not preferable to graph this size. Now, out of this, what I would do, just to give you an example, is cut off these uh, laterals, stay to the structural part of the branch, and maybe just dip that whole thing, or, yeah, no, I think I would, no, yeah, to make it easier, I would take off that one, that one. And that guy right there. Now, a problem with evergreens or conifers is that they'll dry out, so you have to dip them. And that's what I would be grafting. I would dip this, graft it, put it in moist sawdust, in the ground i'm actually going to try so i'm going to do up the rest like this and then i'll show you an example of what i think and all this little stuff you could graph but again we're trying to look for the prime stuff to graph so right here for example you see this guy he's all one thing right here so we're going to take him off probably going to take him off and we'll have two central buds that is graftable. And that's what you're going to do for the blue spruce. These two, you could graft. And actually, I think I may keep those because they look pretty good. Decent. Nice. This guy is too scraggly. If I really needed to, I'd graft him. But I'm going to throw him out. Because grafting for evergreens is actually done earlier in northern New York. than What I've been finding because it's not like a practice we do around here. But it's done earlier. So like April is fruit tree and hardwood grafting. But stuff like this. And this one's scraggly. You see that bow? But I'm going to keep him just the way he is. kind of like him like that. Uh, this guy. I would take off that lateral. Right there. And just have the two buds. Actually. Maybe. Yeah okay. Just have the one. So that way it can only go one way. And then same thing here. I'd take this guy off and that guy off. I'll show you. Right there. Oh, I just realized I'm using the same knife I used for the other one. Well, that was my mistake. Okay. Go for this guy. Oh, okay. So now here we have some really interesting ones. Of course, we're going to take off all the little stuff. So anyways, hardwood and uh, fruiting wood and shrubs are done around here in April. Last week in May, April, uh, sorry, last week in March, M April, maybe the first week in May. This, however, I would say is done in February. Probably the last week in January, you would graft this stuff. When it's getting out of that cold snap around here for northern New York. 
So, and again, I can't caution enough. They do have to be There you go, that's a good one to graft. Getting it while it's cold and while they, they just snapped off, it had to be last night. I didn't take these off the tree. I wasn't planning on this happening. I don't even have root stocks for this, but you know, this leads right into what I wanted to show you guys for one of my topics, and it's using the natural resources. So obviously I'm going to use it if I can. Now you would say, well, why wouldn't you want like two leads on that in case the top bud here dies? Because it's my first time actually grafting evergreen. So I just want to stay with one main trunk. You see right here, I take this guy off and that guy off. Now this is the hemlock, okay? That's all I'd want for grafting purposes. And again, I have so much here, but I'm looking for an actual good diameter. I may just take this guy right here. And again, the same thing. Cut him right there and just have that. And again, dip them in wax, get rid of the rest. So I'm actually being very cautious about it right there I'd keep that and I'd probably get rid of that's probably all I'd keep again very little pieces you're like wow that is small now this one has a little bit bigger pieces uh, the rest of that I think I would throw away. Again, this is not the prime stuff you want to be using. Throw the rest of that away. Get rid of these bigger branches right here and stuff. Close to the base if you can. Uh, maybe some of these upper branches. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think I would keep. But I will show you examples. Right there. Again, this, I got a lot of this stuff now. Huh. Again, I think I would go right here, 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 here. Take off. That and that, maybe that, and oh, I want the central buds on these bad boys. Uh, even though it looks a little bad, that central bud is what I'm looking for, for an end cap. Uh, oh, this guy, I think I would take him right here, and the rest I would throw out. Uh, where was he, this one? Yeah, okay, now from there, I'd take off this and that and just have that. Again, I'm not looking at the rest of these because I'm going to show you a lot better stuff. Okay, so out of all of that, that's what I got out of all of it. So we're going to bring this inside. Sorry about that. We're going to bring this inside. And we're gonna put them, welcome indoors. Actually, these are the trees I got them from. And I'll show you the prime stuff. This wasn't prime, but I will show you the prime stuff that you would wanna graph. So we'll put this here for now. We're gonna keep this one on me. It's a nice little hardened steel clipper. And I'll show you if I can, I don't know where I put them. Ah, yes I do, right here. 
So this is the prime stuff, and we'll see a lot more of this. I'm going to actually bring you right out to where the tree fell. But that is a nice hardy stalk. It came right off the top of the tree. Uh, I could take that one over there as well. Uh, but that's a nice hardy stalk. And that I could really use. I'd probably clip off a couple of these guys right here. Or I may leave them depending and again a nice hardy stock right there that is a prime stuff to use now if you look at at least for the hemlock you see how this one right here is prime and then this one's kind of secondary that's but now when it gets into the blue spruce that's like secondary and then a prime one would be Probably something like that. So actually, we're going to go out in the field right now. And we're going to uh, grab some more right now. I was like, I, you know, I really, really got to do this video. So that way you guys and girls can see. Um, and then I'm going to dip, I'm going to heat up wax, dip the whole thing as much as I can in the wax, probably both ends so it's completely sealed or at least one end and then put it in like I said uh, well actually I think I'll show you that process next I just want to show you the process of gathering the natural resources so we, we, we're going to have to walk quite a bit as you can tell we're going to be walking this way, which is not bad. So again, this, this tree fell. I did not uh, cut it. I, I'll show you how it fell. And I'll show you that right now. So we're going this way. And and we're going this way. Yeah, you know, you've been down this way before. You notice how I talked about this area, about using this area. Well, now I guess, uh, I guess I'm using it. Uh, I, I did not plan on using the evergreens, but you know, the opportunity arose. And so now I'm going to be looking when I show you the tree, you're going to see exactly firsthand what I'm talking about. You're going to get right into it right now. And all we're going to use are these right here. Uh, these are one of my better pair. They're a, uh, I believe they're like a steel. They're meant for cutting wires, but they cut through this stuff just fine and I only have my pockets on me so I can only get what I can get I didn't bring a bag um you can see the tree from here it's actually right over there but I'll show you it yeah you see we had a windstorm and that tree snapped so I'm gonna have to cut it but you know using the natural resources this is a maple I could graph that, but that's less than a pencil's width. So, and there's no real need to graph maple. But it's just a blessing that I got to have this tree fall. I mean, you can see it from here. Uh, uh, the, this is going to be some great footage. And heck, you know what? Why, why am I going to take the road if I can just walk this way? Uh, the clothesline that you saw? This is one of the trees I took. Uh... Does anybody know what type of tree this guy is right here? I do. Uh, the old fashioned name is hemlock. No, sorry, not hemlock. Blah, is ironwood or uh, hardack. I mean, th this one branch, this tree is probably like 30 years old and you would not think it. Look at the grooves. Anyways, anyways, uh, I got off topic there. Okay, there's, here's the evergreen. 
Yeah, yeah, she snapped last night right there. I mean, you can just see the internal forces. Right, look at that. Look at the snap clean. Here's a better footage of it. So, why not use it? I'm, okay, so I'm looking around. I'm seeing this scraggly stuff on the bottom of the tree that's really no good. But now, let me take you to the top end of the tree where it gets a little bit better. Again, none of this is really what we're looking for. Nothing, not until we get to about here, the midsection. And I can already see it, maybe, maybe. Crowns are usually the best. But I, I'm looking at this piece. I'm thinking maybe. Oh, look at that little guy. So one fell, but hey, he's still alive. Okay, this would be a secondary. And I would most likely clean him up. Sorry, I only have two hands. I would clean him up like this. Something like that. That'd be a secondary. But if I were to show you a primary. And again, you can see the tree keeps on going this way and this way. I'm like, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. So we cut off the top. Now the two top pieces were the best. But I'm not giving up on the rest of this. I came to get some and that's what I plan on doing. Uh... That's about what I'm going to get for a size. I'm going to put that right in my pocket. Right there. And we're just going to go through and get about 10, 20 of these bad boys. Because um, God has blessed us with the tree falling. So why don't we use it? Again, right here. Cut it right about there. And then cut all those laterals. Except for maybe the top bud. All I'm looking at leaving is that uh, top bud. Okay, I think I'm going to actually end up doing two videos. Yeah, I'll cut it back right about there. Bam, that's all I'm looking for. I left the top bud completely. I'll wax it, and you know what? I'm going to do the waxing video today, too, I guess. Yeah, I might as well get two birds, one stone done. Yeah, look at this stuff. This is some good stuff, actually. I mean, there's so much to take from. And again, I'll show you a before and after shot. Here's the before. Just look at the cluster that's there. And I'll quickly go through and show you an after shot. There's an after. Again, not the biggest. I'm trying to look for some real good ones here. But I don't want to leave a lot of this behind. I mean, a lot of it's going to be left behind. It's just unfortunate. But I'm trying to take what I can. Probably I'll take this guy right about there. Yeah. That's the thing, because the central bud... At the top bud of each one of these branches and the thick part are so far apart that you would end up with a scion piece of wood that is basically like that, which is awful long. So what I do, and again, you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? I don't think so. I don't think so. So, what would you do? I'm thinking. Maybe something like this. You gotta get creative. Okay. Obviously, that's thick. That's a pencil's width. So, let's try to stay with that. 
Cut out the central leads. Even that, let's stay with that right there, okay? Now, that's how it looks before. I think I'm gonna try something here. Okay, maybe there is a way. Right there. Yeah, okay. Okay, it's a little scraggly, but notice how I kept the central bud and I kept the pencils with the graft tool. Now you're saying, well, why do that? You know, that doesn't make any sense. It's because I'm working with a tree that's native to this area and it's not, uh, what's the word, as vigorous a grower. I mean, ideally, I would love to cut all the way down there, but by the time I got to that central bud, see how big that would be? So, I actually think I got what I need. I just got a couple more right here. Ah. Uh, yeah, these are awful small. But you know what? No, I'm going to... No. not going to waste it. Uh, look at that. It took down... It looks like a maple. I don't even know where this guy came from. Just completely took them and ripped them right out. At least, no, it's in the woods, so it doesn't really matter, but still. And then it almost crushed. Isn't, isn't that something? Look at the dynamic of this, okay? You have this beech wood. Oh, oh, wow, okay. So the beech wood got snapped right there, and it's right there. And the tree landed right in between the beech and that maple. So most likely what happened is it hit the maple first, came back on the beach, slipped down, crashed right here. And now I'm using it for grafting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that is something else. So this is actually beech wood. So actually, oh, that means the central bud is on here. Okay. Now I got two objects. Okay. Well, I did not think about this. So this is all beech wood. Oh, snap. Okay, now we got a much bigger dynamic going on. Okay, let's grab a couple more of the evergreens. Because that's what I wanted to show you. It's a little early to grab hardwood since it's only December 12th or so. And I did not think the videos would start this early, but I guess, guys and girls, uh, even though we're in 2021, uh, happy 2020. 2022 is what I meant to say. Right there, we'll grab this one. Because, you know, as long as it stays cold, we can come back and grab as much as we want. Oh, right here. Found it. Bam. Okay. Look at that central bud. That's a good size one right there. Ah, beautiful. Okay, that's actually a good size one. So we'll take that. Okay, so as far as the evergreens go, we got them in this pocket. But now, you see, I'm going to leave this tree. I'm going to leave this. Probably the deer will come and chew this all up, all this good evergreen stuff. So it's not going to be wasted. It'll be food for the deer. But I'm going to take this stuff, which has a bunch of central buds. Yeah, I'm going to cut it to about that size. This is beech wood. 
as you can tell the growth is very thin but hey i'm gonna take it look at that using the natural resources i don't have any rootstock for beech i think you could use white oak though and some people are going what you can use white oak uh that's awful thin That one's a good size, so I'll take that one. This one's not bad. It's all, awful thin stuff here you got going on. Again, because you can tell what's the new growth. That vibrant color right there, it's very small. That's that's pretty much all new growth. Uh, there's so much scion wood right here in this one limb that I'm looking at. But I don't have any rootstock. So I'm only going to take a little bit. Because I don't need all of this. The deer may eat some of this, which more power to them if they do. Again, I'm just going to take a couple. Yeah, you know what, guys and girls? As much as I'd like to pick through this whole tree, I think I'm only going to take this, the stuff I have in the house, and that in my pocket. And let the deer and animals come through and mother nature break it down. I took what I needed, what I wanted. So now the rest can just be uh, broken down naturally. Uh, again, we took the top of the tree for the Christmas. Uh, so yeah, I guess this is the first of many videos. Now I'm going to do a separate video. Look at that guy. Right there. He's not bad, is he? No, he's not. Is that a good central bud? I mean, I may take him. Yeah, here I go. You know, I say, oh, that's the last one. And here I am again. It was funny because I was talking to a guy and he wanted to start Christmas trees. Not that this would be the right type of conifer, but it's just funny how I was talking to him like two days ago. And then last night we have this uh, wicked snow, uh, not even snow. I mean, look, we're in northern New York and I don't see one ounce of snow. Maybe a little bit of frozen water over there. But uh, there, I guess I'll keep that guy. Yeah, I guess I'll keep him and probably just cut him down to about there. So I was talking to him about Christmas trees and stuff. And though this is not the right type of evergreen, it's funny how this just kind of, you know, wham, straight down right here, you know? Ah, uh, and then I get a piece off the blue spruce, and now my first hardwood, I guess, is beech. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This doesn't have to be waxed like the evergreens do. It's hardwood, so actually right here. If you look, I'm pretty much going to be wrapping this, uh, this cyan wood and stuff like this right here nice moist wrap it in cloth and then sink it into the ground or i have the greenhouse i could put it in so yeah i mean all the natural resources are and it's funny like two years ago that was another evergreen and it snapped because of the wind the same type of uh i keep on forgetting the name <laughs> same type though and actually that right there was the top leaning up against the tree right there that was the top to this tree the tops are the best part because you get that central bud and when you get that central bud it grows the best and it just so happens i got the central bud off this one that i just showed you so I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with all these beach. I, I think that's honestly too much. Should I try to get rid of some of that right now? And then again, I got maple here. Which is alive. Do I want to take it though? Oh, great. Now I'm getting... Okay. Let's see. 
put the maple. <laughs> trying to juggle a phone. Scion wood. It, it, does that look good to you? I guess we could take that, couldn't we, though? That has a central butt on it. It's a natural resource. But then again, what do I need maple for? Do I have rootstock for it? Or, or I'll take this one. And I'll take this guy. And I'll tell you why. Right there. Two. Two is all I should need. Maybe I'll grab... Yeah, now, now look at me. Trying to juggle a phone. I'll grab this third guy right here if you can see him. Take those three. Okay? Those are maple. Here, I'm going to put this in my pocket. And we're going to go over there. Oh, I did not think. Okay, I guess this is happening. Uh, so, what I'm probably going to end up doing is the wind took this guy, as you can tell. Oh, look at that. Snapped him up there, but left the branch hook right there. So, actually, what am I going to do? Easily. I'm going to cut him right here. At a 45, uh, probably away from this guy so he doesn't rot. So 45 going this way. And then side veneer, either this month or next month, before the sap starts running. So I have to do this quite quickly. Uh, these branches that I just got back onto itself. Because it's a good rootstock. It's, it's good and sturdy. It's going into the ground. And then that way... Uh, this tree won't have to compete with survival. Look at that. I mean, just look at the snap. I don't know if you can... But it left this one singular branch. And look at the loop on it. Maples are known to loop. And I bet you I could get it to curl this way. But yeah, no. We'll take the ones that I just got right uh, here. Let me... The ones that I just got right there. That I took off this tree. And we'll put it back onto a tree. So that way it's good. And you know what I can do with the beach? We have other beach here. I can try to graft these little beach that you that I got off that one uh, branch back onto a beach that doesn't have enough branches on it. So right there, I already have a purpose for those. The evergreens, I have no idea. It's just I knew I had to grab them, so I, I'm going to be waxing them right now. And again, I'm going to show you that process, uh, hopefully today. Well, isn't that neat? A little windstorm, I'm already on to the first series, using your natural resources. And, uh, yeah, that's already, uh, that's one of the topics I wanted to go over, actually. Uh, and... Actually, two. Grafting. Uh, well, we're not going to be grafting right now, but still the fact that... Yeah, that's... Okay, yeah. That should work. Okay, so I'm going to end this video here. It's Gort. I just wanted to let you know what was happening. This probably won't go up on in my channel until uh, February. But uh, I'm going to prepare this stuff right now. And I'll do a video for that. Okay. Gort out. Bye.